hello guys and welcome back to this channel in today's video we want to continue our lesson on differential equations in this video we are going to learn higher derivatives now given that y is a function of x then the derivative of y with respect to x is written as dy over dx and this is the same as f prime of x now we call this the first derivative of y with respect to x. Assuming we differentiate dy dx with respect to x, then what we get is d square y over dx square. This is the same as f prime prime of x and this is called the second derivative of y with respect to x in the same way let's differentiate the squared y over the x square with respect to x then we are going to get the cube y over the x cube which is the same as f prime 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 of x this is called the third derivative of y with respect to x so when you have a function y equals f of x, then when you differentiate y, you have dy dx, which is equal to f prime of x. This is called the first derivative of y with respect to x. Now, if you should differentiate dy dx with respect to x, then you have the second derivative of y with respect to x. And then when you differentiate the squared y over the x square with respect to x, you have the third derivative of y with respect to x now having this information let's tackle some few questions so for the first question we are to find dy dx d squared y dx square and d cube y over the x cube when y is equal to 3x exponent 4 plus 2x cube plus 4x so basically we are going to find the first second and third derivative of this function so let's start with dy dx now we are going to differentiate this function term by term so we have dy dx equals when you differentiate 3x exponent 4 you have 4 times 3 is 12 so 12 x cube plus when you differentiate 2 x cube you have 6 x square and then when you differentiate 4x, you have 4. So the first derivative of this function is equal to 12x cubed plus 6x squared plus 4. Now let's find the second derivative. So to find the second derivative of y with respect to x, we are going to focus on this expression. We are going to differentiate this expression with respect to x. Now, when you differentiate 12x cubed, you have 12 times 3 is 36. So, 36x squared plus, when you differentiate 6x squared, you have 12x. And then, when you differentiate 4, which is a constant, you have 0. So, the second derivative of y with respect to x is 36x squared plus 12x now let's find the third derivative of y with respect to x that is the cube y over the x cube so for this we are also going to focus on the squared y over the x square this expression so when you differentiate 36 x square you have 72 x and then when you differentiate 12 x you have 12. So basically, you've been able to find the first, second, and third derivative of the function y equals 3x exponent 4 plus 2x cubed plus 4x. Now let's solve our second example. So for the second question, given that y is equal to x exponent 4 minus x cubed plus 4x minus 1, I find the second derivative of y with respect to x 
ii state the set of values of x for which the squared y over the x square is zero so let's start off with i we are going to find the squared y over the x square we have y equals x exponent 4 minus x cube plus 4x minus 1 so before we find the second derivative of this function we need to find the first derivative so dy dx is equal to this becomes 4x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4 then the square y over the x squared becomes 4 times 3 is 12 12 x squared minus 3 times 2 is 6 6 x when you differentiate this it goes to 0 so we have the square y over the x squared equals 12 x squared minus 6 x so we can simplify this as we are going to factor out 6 x now 12 x squared divided by 6 x is 2 x and then 6x divided by 6x is 1. So this is the simplified form of this expression. The square y over the x square is equal to 6x into bracket 2x minus 1. Now let's solve for ii. State the set of values of x for which the square y over the x square is 0. So to solve this, we need to set the square y over the x square to 0. So 6x times 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. 6x is equal to 0. 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. When you divide through by 6, you have x equals 0. And then for the second one, you transpose negative 1 to the right hand side. You have 2x equals 1. You divide through by 2 and then you have x equals 1 over 2 so we had x equals 0 x equals 1 over 2 and then we have to state the set of values of x so that becomes x is such that x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 1 over 2 so that's it for today's video Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video to your friends. Bye bye.